Predictive brand engagement. Harnessing the emotion that drives your brand. Brand Keys Digital Platform GPS. There is little argument these days with David Ogilvy. Marketers everywhere have accepted not only that consumer decision-making is more emotional than rational, but that getting at what's driving those emotions is impossible using direct questioning. Even B2B brands understand that there are emotional connections at work in the decision process. The old saying, no one ever got fired for buying IBM, is perhaps one of the best examples of the strong emotions underlying business decision-making. This shift for the consumer, from the rational to the emotional, puts psychology front and center when it comes to measuring the real drivers of consumer decision-making. The Brand Keys methodology was built with archetypal psychology as its foundation, building on the work of the father of archetypes, Carl Jung, Freud's most famous student, best known for his work in personifying emotions in order to understand their underlying dynamics. The same theoretical foundation is used worldwide to understand human behavior. At Brand Keys, we apply this personification technique to brands, using it to understand the innate, unconscious processes involved in decision-making, a technique independently validated by the Advertising Research Foundation and numerous published case studies. Those emotional metrics, on their own, would require researcher interpretation. To avoid that subjectivity and make the model completely consumer-centric, the emotional metrics are fused with category-specific items. Those attributes, benefits, and values then give category relevancy and structure to the emotions driving consumer decision-making. Thus, an unconscious emotional driver like safety is illuminated with relevant category meaning for the brand, perhaps translating into items around the idea of trust or guarantees. But the Brand Keys methodology was not built for educational purposes. Answers are only useful if they respond to the questions that keep a brand healthy and strong. All findings are focused on understanding if and how the brand is beneficiary of the exercise, what they can tell the brand about where it should be going, not where it has been, that the output can be easily shared with those who do not have a research background, and always uses the ideal as the ultimate benchmark that emotional and rational yardstick the consumer uses to measure brands against. For a long time, brands have become accustomed to evaluating performance against an average, which is always built from what happened in the past. While averages can be useful, they are extremely limited and offer no insight about the future. The ideal the consumer holds for a category is what Brand Keys uses to measure brand performance and everything the brand does, from media strategy to advertising evaluation. The ideal is what the consumer brings to the category and plants the brand firmly in the consumer's view of the world before looking at their brand. This consumer-focused view is critical to understanding where to aim the brand for the greatest payoff. Brand Keys uses a four-dimensional model of the ideal. The first dimension is to understand what the drivers are in the category and their order of importance. But the drivers are not simply named by us. They are named based on their components, components put there by the way the consumers answered both the emotional and the rational questions. This is the second dimension of the model that gives granularity to the drivers and allows brands to get very specific. Those driver components the category attributes, benefits, and values seen previously on the right-hand side of the model are, like the drivers themselves, ordered by percent contribution each item makes to engagement. This information allows the brand to get very specific in its efforts. And the third dimension assigns a value to those drivers that allows the brand to understand exactly how much importance is attributed to each driver and the percent contribution each makes to brand engagement. But knowing what is important in a category is not a complete picture. Often things can be important, 
a cost of entry to a category, much as safety is in the airline category. In this example of the ideal out-of-home coffee provider, location and value is not where consumer expectations are strongest and where a brand can best differentiate. That must be satisfied first, but it is expected. To understand the critical differentiating aspect of the category, you need a fourth dimension, consumer expectations. The height of the bars tells us that it's the service and surroundings driver where a coffee provider can dig for differentiating gold. Taken together, these four dimensions offer a complete view of the consumer ideal, an ideal that changes for every category a consumer approaches. At a leading industry conference where Brand Keys presents, the distinguished keynote speaker, Sir Martin Sorrell, did not shy away from the provocative but critical question of the validity of current measurement systems when it comes to social media. We were not surprised, having heard from our clients their concerns about their brand on social media platforms. While no one questions being on Facebook anymore, many share in whispers their concerns about what to do on Facebook so that it truly works for their brand. The change in the brand communication landscape to include a proliferation of digital communication platforms led us to create the first syndicated study to examine digital communication from a completely consumer engagement-based perspective. We designed the study to answer the question that CMOs asked most. How should I use my consumer's engagement with digital to my brand's strategic advantage? We looked at digital engagement through a category-specific lens across 83 categories. As a first step, to understand what platforms to measure, we spoke with various industry organizations to access their lists. As it turns out, none of them had a list, and so we did our own research. We used the most respected sources of the top 1,000 most used digital activities and sorted them into the platforms where a brand could communicate. The result was 14 digital communication platforms, platforms we could measure within the context of each category for exactly how they operated from an engagement perspective. And we did one more thing, something that turned out to hold some of the most interesting insights across the study. We looked at a demographic segment we named Hidgitals. We measured usage of the 14 platforms in terms of hours spent in each category and looked at those with the highest digital usage in the category, the Hidgitals, to see how they engaged with digital and even how they looked at the category versus the general population. By looking at each category, we were able to demonstrate clearly that one size does not fit all when it comes to digital engagement, as marketers have suspected. Digital works very differently category to category. We let them tell us what the range of digital usage was. We did not impose a number. And then we examined how that digital engagement intersected with the engagement that drives brand choice in each category. And it was indeed different for Hidgitals, as you will see shortly. This work needed to be done in order to deliver metrics that brought together brand strategy and digital technology a digital platform GPS, guiding brands to where they meet. That intersection is key to truly answering questions like, we're on Facebook, now what? First, let's take a look at the over-the-counter pain reliever category, examining how the approach works and how the category is seen through the lens of general pop and hitchitals. As seen in every category examined to date, Hidgitals have higher expectations than do general pop, especially when it comes to brand trust. In this case, the order of the drivers themselves are the same. As we will see, this is not always the case. Nonetheless, key aspects to how comfort with digital technology shapes the Hidgital view is seen here in the two drivers where they carry higher expectations, trusted brand for value and strong relief. Confident in their ability to pull back the curtain on the brand wizard, Hidgitals closely examine brands for trustworthiness. And, like the general population, 
that factors strongly into the brand value equation. Digitals are also more accustomed to immediacy, and the higher expectations and strong relief carries that particular worldview with it. This is great to know, but we wanted to go a step beyond this to understand exactly how engagement with the digital communication platforms themselves worked in the category. Just as we start with the Jungian-based psychological personification questions as a base for the emotional aspects of a category and then fuse them with the category-specific attribute, benefit, and value items, we start with the same psychological underpinning in the category and fuse those measures with the digital platforms. This approach is one we have used successfully for years in our brand to media approach to measuring traditional media. We used it on a massive scale in the syndicated work for the first time to measure the impact of digital platforms across 83 categories. At a top level, we can see what digital platforms are contributing most strongly to engagement in the OTC pain reliever category, according to the general pop. Shopping portals and the brand's website account for 41% of digital engagement in the category with this group. When it comes to digitals, the strongest source of engagement in the category is social networks at 20%, followed by shopping portals. Differences at this level were seen in many of the categories we examined. But most critical to our clients is how to communicate strategically on these platforms. For Gen Pop, when communicating on shopping portals and its website, it's those brand value items found inside the first driver that will work best to engage in those digital spaces. Social networks is found in family friendly as Gen Pop turns to their social circles for advice on pain relievers that will work best for the family. For Higitals, social media intersects with a different driver, the brand value driver, and is first in importance there. Higitals are going to the brand's Facebook page and its website to see what the brand is offering up as value and for background on why it deserves their trust. Using this kind of information, an OTC pain reliever brand can target with tremendous efficiency in the digital space, crafting messages and offers that appeal to any audience it wants to measure. And when speaking in one voice, the brand also knows where to focus, understanding far better what specifically has appeal across its consumer target groups when it comes to the digital communication platforms it uses or may decide to use based on true engagement metrics and not simply visits. We also looked at the devices most used by category to help marketers further craft strategies and messaging across digital devices. In addition, metrics can be examined at a brand level view, examining what lift specific digital platforms are offering the brand at an overall level versus other digital platforms and traditional media like television. A category where Gen Pop and Digital strongly diverge at the category level is the still nascent tablet category. This technology category demonstrates clearly the different view of the world that Higitals, otherwise known as the future, have adopted, shaped by technology. For Gen Pop, feeling unsteady in this new category, they look to brands as the most important driver of choice. For them, the brand shall lead. For Higitals, the brand only makes the short list after jumping the hurdles of advanced design and features, first and second, respectively, in importance when it comes to a decision. And what's inside that brand driver reflects that difference in confidence. Gen Pop wants to be sure that customer service and warranty are in place, while Higitals are far more concerned with innovation, very able to diagnose their own problems, and sure they will have moved on to the next iteration before any warranty expires. As this category grows and new aspects of the category appear or issues come on a brand's radar through its web listening efforts, a swift update can be done using quantitative and generalizable foresight that allows the brand to see just how much those things matter and guide its efforts accordingly, helping sort out what needs immediate attention 
what represents a growth area, and what may just be a passing phase that the brand should ignore. So this is the category. Let's take a look at how digital operates in the tablet space. Accordingly, GenPop looks to digital platforms where the brand pays to play, advertising on browsing portals, in classified ads, and to come up in search. For Hijitals, if the brand hasn't earned media coverage on blogs and write-ups in the digital mags and news sources they turn to, as well as having solid online videos and good buzz from their circle, then paid advertising is wasted on them. This allows the brand to craft exactly the strategy it needs for these groups. As Hijital is not a demographic distinction, this allows the brand to get outside of demographics and target digital from an engagement perspective. As we continue to work with clients around the world, we find hardworking people doing their absolute best to help brands succeed. But as Deming points out so well, knowing what to do, how to focus the energy of those brand and agency teams is the shortest, quickest, and surest road to success. We specialize in exactly that, in helping brands know what to do as they go forward into the future. We specialize in the brand equity and engagement metrics that make sense of the category drivers. These metrics have been proven to be predictive of in-market performance and to correlate very highly with sales and profitability. We believe the success of this methodology is due to its foundation in psychology, allowing us to get beneath the radar to understand the emotional and rational factors driving the category, using that consumer ideal to measure the impact of any media, marketing, or communications initiative. Our independent validations include a recent financial equity analysis done by 24-7 Wall Street, identifying a near-perfect matchup of the brand's brand keys identified as best meeting consumer expectations with market leadership. Aquitung Capital Advisors, an independent equity valuation firm, examine the correlation between our rankings and brand value, resulting in extremely high correlations across 10 different categories they examined. And the Advertising Research Foundation conducted a first opinion review of Brand Key's methodology, resulting in the coveted seal of approval from this leading industry organization, validating that the method does indeed do what we say it does. We conduct research worldwide and have been doing so since 1984. And we are proud to call some of the world's largest brands our clients. Brand Keys is the only research consultancy in the United States to have all three of its principles honored with a Great Mind Award from the Advertising Research Foundation, all for innovation as the methodology has been applied to the most pressing needs of brands today. The methodology is open sourced in Predicting Market Success, written by Brand Key's founder, Dr. Robert Pasikoff. And case studies have been gathered together in a book co authored by Dr. Pasikoff and Amy Shea entitled The Certainty Principle, which focuses on application of the methodology to media challenges. We speak all over the world on brands and effective measurement. And many of our results are published through our syndicated studies. As demonstrated here, the Customer Loyalty Engagement Index, now in its 17th year, ranks hundreds of brands based on their ability to meet consumer ideals. A new addition to this study, the Digital Platform Engagement Index, for the first time connects consumer engagement with digital communication platforms to consumer engagement with categories, allowing brands to locate the crosshairs of digital technology and brand strategy via our Digital Platform GPS our loyalty leaders list, and the leaders in major league sports and retail fashion allow us to deeply understand the major themes and trends across brands and help brands implement them in category. While our syndicated work is well known, our proprietary work is at the core of what we do. From predictive category dynamics, as demonstrated in this presentation, to tracking brand health, evaluating advertising communications and helping brands shape them, to working with brands on media applications, both traditional and the newly digital, 
We use the ideal in our approach at the center of brand architectures to help guide whatever the brand builds to be most effective in the marketplace. Not only are all these applications predictive, they're adaptable. Brand keys metrics can be easily combined to optimize current research efforts like tracking, media planning, and web listening. Because what Yogi said is more true today than ever, the future ain't what it used to be. We invite you to check out YouTube for demonstrations of some of our other applications, and to visit our website or contact us for a discussion specialized to your needs. Thank you, and we wish you all success.